In recent months, the Middle East has been a hotbed of escalating tensions, drawing the attention of global powers. The situation has become particularly precarious following a series of bombings by Israel in Beirut and Gaza. This ongoing conflict has elicited strong reactions from Russia and Saudi Arabia, both of whom have issued stern warnings to the United States, urging it to rein in Israel's aggressive actions. The geopolitical landscape is fraught with complexity, as historical alliances and contemporary political dynamics converge to create a volatile situation. Before we start, smash the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. The bombings in Beirut, a city still recovering from the catastrophic explosion in its port in 2020, have further destabilized an already fragile Lebanon. Israel's justification for these attacks centers around the presence of Hezbollah, the militant group backed by Iran, which Israel considers a significant threat. The bombings have targeted what Israel claims are Hezbollah strongholds, but the collateral damage has been severe, with civilian casualties and infrastructure destruction exacerbating the humanitarian crisis. Simultaneously, Gaza has borne the brunt of Israeli military operations. The densely populated enclave, already suffering under a long-standing blockade, has experienced relentless bombardment. Israel argues that these actions are necessary to neutralize the threat posed by Hamas, the governing body in Gaza, which Israel and several Western countries designate as a terrorist organization. The repeated airstrikes have led to devastating loss of life and widespread destruction, drawing international condemnation and calls for ceasefire. Russia and Saudi Arabia's involvement in this conflict underscores the broader geopolitical stakes. Russia, with its historical ties to the Arab world and strategic interests in the region, has been a vocal critic of Israeli actions. Moscow has called for restraint and dialogue, positioning itself as a potential mediator in the conflict. Russia's warnings to the United States highlight its opposition to what it perceives as unbridled support for Israel, which it argues exacerbates the conflict and undermines efforts towards a peaceful resolution. Saudi Arabia's stance is particularly noteworthy given its complex relationship with Israel. Historically, Saudi Arabia has been a staunch supporter of the Palestinian cause and has no formal diplomatic relations with Israel. However, recent years have seen a cautious rapprochement between the two countries, driven by mutual concerns over Iran's regional influence. Despite this, the Saudi government has condemned the bombings in Beirut and Gaza, calling for an immediate halt to the violence. Riyadh's warnings to the United States reflect its balancing act between maintaining its leadership role in the Arab world and navigating its discreet ties with Israel. The United States finds itself in a challenging position. As Israel's primary ally, Washington has historically provided substantial military aid and diplomatic support. The Biden administration, like its predecessors, emphasizes Israel's right to defend itself against threats. However, the growing international backlash and the strong admonitions from Russia and Saudi Arabia put the U.S. under pressure to adopt a more nuanced stance. Calls for a reassessment of U.S. policy towards Israel are gaining momentum, with critics arguing that unconditional support emboldens Israeli actions and undermines prospects for peace. In the corridors of power in Washington, the debate over how to respond to these developments is intense. Some policymakers advocate for continued robust support for Israel, citing security concerns and the strategic importance of the U.S.-Israel alliance. Others argue for a more balanced approach, suggesting that leveraging U.S. influence to encourage Israel towards restraint and renewed peace negotiations could yield long-term benefits. The Biden administration's response will likely be shaped by this internal debate, as well as by external pressures from international allies and public opinion. The humanitarian situation in Gaza is dire, with the bombings exacerbating an already critical situation. The enclave's health infrastructure, crippled by years of blockade and previous conflicts, is struggling to cope with the influx of casualties. International aid organizations have called for urgent assistance, but the blockade and ongoing hostilities complicate relief efforts. The civilian population, bearing the brunt of the conflict, faces a daily struggle for survival amidst the ruins of their homes and communities. Lebanon, too, is grappling with the fallout from the bombings in Beirut. The country is in the midst of a severe economic crisis, with rampant inflation and shortages of basic goods. 
The bombings have further strained Lebanon's fragile stability, adding to the burden on its already overwhelmed institutions. The political landscape in Lebanon is deeply fragmented, and the Israeli attacks have heightened tensions among the various factions. Hezbollah's role as both a political and military force complicates the situation, as its actions and Israel's responses ripple through the broader regional dynamics. The international community is watching closely, with many nations calling for an immediate ceasefire and a return to negotiations. The United Nations has been vocal in its condemnation of the violence, urging all parties to exercise restraint and protect civilians. Diplomatic efforts are underway to broker a ceasefire, but the deep-rooted mistrust and conflicting agendas pose significant challenges to these initiatives. The warnings from Russia and Saudi Arabia highlight the broader implications of the conflict. Russia's involvement is driven by its strategic interests and desire to maintain its influence in the Middle East. Moscow has cultivated relationships with various regional players, including Iran and Syria, and seeks to position itself as a counterbalance to U.S. influence. Saudi Arabia's stance is shaped by its leadership role in the Arab world and its complex relationship with Iran and Israel. Riyadh's calls for an end to the violence reflect its broader concerns about regional stability and its efforts to navigate the delicate balance between its traditional alliances and emerging geopolitical realities. The conflict also has significant implications for the broader Middle East peace process. The repeated cycles of violence between Israel and Palestinian factions undermine efforts towards a two-state solution. The bombings in Gaza and Beirut, and the international responses they provoke, highlight the urgent need for a renewed commitment to peace negotiations. However, the path to a lasting resolution is fraught with challenges, from deep-seated historical grievances to the current political dynamics. Public opinion in the United States and around the world is increasingly vocal in its demand for an end to the violence. Protests and demonstrations have been held in numerous cities, calling for solidarity with the Palestinian people and an end to Israeli aggression. These public sentiments add another layer of pressure on policymakers, who must navigate the complex interplay of domestic and international factors. The media coverage of the conflict has also played a significant role in shaping perceptions and influencing political responses. Images and reports of the devastation in Gaza and Beirut have sparked outrage and calls for action. The role of social media in disseminating information and mobilizing public opinion cannot be understated, as platforms like Twitter and Facebook become arenas for activism and advocacy. The broader geopolitical ramifications of the conflict are also significant. The warnings from Russia and Saudi Arabia to the United States highlight the potential for wider regional instability. Russia's strategic interests in the Middle East, including its military presence in Syria and its alliances with Iran and Hezbollah, position it as a critical player in any potential resolution. Saudi Arabia, with its considerable influence in the Arab world and its cautious steps towards normalizing relations with Israel, faces a delicate balancing act. Riyadh's admonition to the U.S. underscores its concern for regional stability and its role as a leader in the Arab and Muslim worlds. Moreover, the conflict exacerbates existing global tensions. The U.S.-Russia relationship, already strained by issues such as Ukraine and cybersecurity, faces further complications as the two powers take opposing stances on Israel's actions. Similarly, the U.S. must navigate its complex relationship with Saudi Arabia balancing its strategic interests with its moral and diplomatic obligations. This intricate dance of alliances and oppositions underscores the interconnectedness of modern international relations. The path to peace, while fraught with challenges, is not impossible. It requires a multifaceted approach that addresses both immediate humanitarian needs and long-term political solutions. This includes ensuring access to humanitarian aid in Gaza, rebuilding efforts in Beirut, and fostering dialogue among all stakeholders. The international community, led by influential powers like the United States, Russia, and Saudi Arabia, must commit to sustain diplomatic efforts to broker a lasting peace. Only through such comprehensive strategies can the cycle of violence be broken, paving the way for a more stable and just future for all those affected by this enduring conflict. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, could you leave your comments below and tell us? How should the U.S. respond to Israel's actions in Gaza and Beirut? We want to hear from you.
Thank you for watching, and see you next time.